Joining me now, David Wall, a Trump supporter and attorney, and Melissa Mark Viverito, a New York City Council speaker, and Hillary Clinton surrogate. Great to see you both. My Good evening, goodness, Maggie. there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, David, let me start with you, though, on this, because it, you know, Contrast that Donald Trump, who said Bill Clinton's affairs, it was no big deal, it was unimportant, it was nonsense, the, you know, the attacks on him, the attempt to impeach him and so on, versus today with, you know, I, I could have hit him, I could have hit her on his affair, you know, how do you square the two? Well, the, the issue about Monica Lewinsky was relatively minor compared to the pre-Lewinsky uh, allegations regarding Juanita Broadwick, uh, Paula Jones, Kathleen Willey, Megan, those are allegations that go from sexual harassment to rape. And it's not so much what Bill did now, it's what Hillary did. She established a war room to deal with these women who she said that were engaging in a bimbo attack or a bimbo assault, something to that effect. It was a bimbo eruption. Um, and she dealt with it that way. And if you think about that, Megan, she tried to destroy women who made these type of allegations against her husband, not because they were allegations that weren't credible, but because it was politically expedient, okay. Megan. Look at her website. Earlier this year, her website, she said, all women who make these type of allegations should be believed. As soon as she found out that got up there, she deleted it. It's hypocrisy, it's inconsistency, okay. and it's unbecoming of a president. Madam Speaker? I, I'm, you know, excuse me if I yawn. Uh, you know, these arguments are tired. Yawn? It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to the conversation at what? present. The debate the other night demonstrated the vision and the understanding. Wait a minute, though. Wait. Can, you, can you just respond on point, though? Because we're trying to get to the bottom of whether this is going to go down and how it's going to go down and whether that's it should a decision, or it shouldn't. That's a decision for the Trump campaign to make, I believe. But the you people know are they're going to come after her. They're going to say you, it was your team that referred to these, you know, they said you dragged the $50 through the trailer park and who knows what you'll find. And that they called these women, quote, bimbos, this, that they were, they were bimbo eruptions. And they put it on Hillary, too, because she was went after them as well. This is reflective of the strategies that the Trump campaign will do. It is deviating and trying to divert How is it not fair game reality. if she goes after him on women to How go after her on women? her treatment of women during Bill's affairs? And, and I do not believe exactly. that this is the way we should be dealing with this issue right now, meaning that, that we have to focus on the vision and the future but, of this country. But wait, and but, Melissa, Ms. Speaker, yeah. she, he's, she's hitting him relentlessly through ads and on a presidential debate stage. She, you saw she was very sure to get it in on his treatment of women and the comments he's made about women. Why is it not perfectly Hillary, fair game for him to turn around and say, gotcha, said Hillary some things. Clinton you has, too did some things, Madam Secretary. Hillary Clinton has been attacked for more than 30 years. This issue has been discussed and debated. Oh, that's a, that's in a the dodge. I mean, that, David, that that's is not, not going to work. That's Megan, not going to work. It's the truth. <laughs> she's this, ripping Donald no. Trump for what he said about a beauty queen 20 years ago, and she calls rape accusations, some of which had a lot of credibility, bimbo eruptions, and then has something on her website saying women should be believed when it comes to sexual assault, and then she finds out it's on there, she deletes it, and you're saying that's not a big right, but let deal? Let me ask you, David, I mean, let me ask you, David, me. Wait, hold on, let me ask you, David, because mm -hmm. Trump also has some vulnerability because he's had extramarital affairs uh, in prior marriages, which have, you know, been made very, very public in the papers, and so... There's some risk to him in going after Bill Clinton as an adulterer and as Hillary Clinton and a woman who would understandably be well, displeased Megan, to find the, that the, out. But when you're talking about extramarital affairs versus allegations of sexual harassment, assault, rape, and having those covered up and having his wife serve as sort of his, his henchwoman to take care of them, establishing a war room to silence the women... There's no comparison on this planet between those two. Well, so this is the I think this big, is this is trouble. the typical strategy of the Trump campaign is that he cannot answer and he cannot provide a vision he for the future of this country. A vision for the no, future. Not, hold on, hold on, hold on. So does it matter the other day at the but debate? Madam Speaker, so does it matter at all? if Hillary Clinton had a history of referring to these women as bimbos. I believe that this has been discussed before. That's and not an answer. Been, That's no, not an answer. Horrible You're done, dodging. And it's horrible I, does it does matter. Not, Do you care as the Speaker of the New York City Council whether our next president potentially refers to women as bimbos, whether it's Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Uh, because a lot of Democrats really cared when Trump was using that term. Do they care if Hillary used well, it? Well, these are terms that are being used in the present. I am concerned about what 
we have the vision we have for the future. The debate the other day demonstrated wow. that Donald Trump was bumbling and was demonstrating what, what a fool Hillary he is. Clinton's in front of 80 the women at home you must understand well, that's a dodge. If it's bad for him, it's bad for her too. And she's going to exactly. have to deal with it if he chooses to bring it up. Well, that's it. That's exactly the right. That's exactly the right uh, question to ask. Let it be dealt with. I am interested in seeing, and I believe that Hillary Clinton has demonstrated that she is better suited to lead this nation. She can make forward. that case. She can and make that case. Eighty million but viewers. But she's not going to be able to avoid that, that direct nope. accusation okay. after the things she's hurled at him. It's good to see you both. Thank you. Thank you, Megan.